Grindelwald is in hiding uh, from the uh, since we last seen him, um, and Dumbledore has recruited this group of um, wizards, this band, uh, to go and hunt him down. Newt has been led in for the first time. Um, normally, Newt is sort of sent off to do Dumbledore's uh, uh, hard work without having a clue what's going on. This time, he's been given a chink into what's going on, but the general consensus is there's a plan unfolding um, with this with this band of uh, this this sort of a merry band. One of the things that I I love about this film is you finally get to see Newt in his kind of where he's at his at his best and happiest, which is out in the wild tracking creatures. Um, and in this case, it's a very beautiful and extraordinary creature in the Wizarding world. Um, called a chillin and it has this mythical status and so yeah you start the first time you see Newt is in uh, t the Tianzi mountains in China uh, and really kind of putting all his tracking prowess to the um, to its best use. One of the key themes is is siblings really it's there it's there with my my brother um, Theseus, played by Callum Turner, who I adore, um, and and the complexity of those relationships in families when you're, you, you know, you're all of the same blood, but you've got completely different um, personality traits, and you have great love, even though you are entirely different people. So we're seeing many of the uh, the old band back together. Um, but there are some new guys uh, who are appearing. We got a glimpse of Lally, played by Jessica Williams in the, in the last movie, and she's brought such a wonderful uh, energy to these films. She's hilariously funny and passionate about this world and is just, um, uh, so that's been so much fun, just getting to hang with her and getting to, to, get to, getting to know Lally, who's uh, got this really, um, sort of elegant and yet funny and kind of uh, almost sort of maternal quality to certainly to Jacob and Newt. She's kind of, they're the kids and she's sort of looking after them. Teddy the Niffler is back, scene stealing as always, and being that wondrous mix of heaven and hell. Uh, Pickett is about being brilliant and, and, and helping Newt, um, giving him uh, but a TLC when he needs it, and um, generally saving the day. Who else do we have? Um, the Wyvern. Yeah, the Wyvern, who, who has a pretty uh, seminal role, an early moment in the movie. Um, yes, yeah, so we're getting to see all of these guys, which is, is wonderful. One of the things that I've, I always love about these movies is getting to expand the wizarding world. Uh, beyond what we know and getting to see other cultures. Um, and in this film, we're heading off to Berlin, uh, 1930s Berlin, where we go to China, to the, uh, the mountains there, the Tianzi Mountains, um, and, then, and then finally to Bhutan uh, for this great um, wizarding election that's happening. There's great humor, you know, whether it's Dan Fogler or Jessica Williams, they just have such, uh, lightness of spirit to them and, and, and uh, that it just makes it a really fun day at work. And, and that's what these movies should be, I think. Like, whenever I used to watch the Potter films, it was escapism for me. And, um, and it was, uh, there were films about outsiders um, finding their place and, and, and these films um, retain that. But, but you also, they also just blow your imagination.